Feminist Post-Structuralist Discourse Analysis FPDA is a method of discourse analysis based on Chris Whedon's theories of feminist post-structuralism, and developed as a method of analysis by Judith Baxter in 2003. FPDA is based on a combination of feminism and post-structuralism. While it is still evolving as a methodology, FPDA has been used by a range of international scholars of gender and language to analyze texts such as, Classroom Discourse Castaneda Peña 2008, Sonson 2012, Teenage Girls Conversation Kamada 2008, 2010, and Media Representations of Gender Baker 2013. FPDA is an approach to analyzing the discourse of spoken interaction principally. The post-structuralist part of FPDA views language as social practice and considers that people's identities and relationships are performed through spoken interaction. FPDA analyzes the ways in which speakers are positioned by different and often competing discourses according to Michel Foucault's 1972 definition as practices that systematically form the objects of which they speak. According to this, speakers constantly move between powerful and powerless subject positions as they talk and interact. FPDA is influenced by a post-structuralist rather than a critical discourse analysis CDA perspective, that is, the method is informed by the view that no speaker is wholly a victim and powerless, nor wholly dominant and powerful. Rather, speakers are constantly shifting their subject positions according to the interplay of discourses within specific settings. The feminist part of FPDA considers gender difference to be a dominant discourse among competing discourses when analyzing all types of text. According to Baxter 2003, FPDA does not have an emancipatory agenda for women but a transformative one. This means that it aims to represent women's voices that have been silenced or marginalized since FPDA considers that these have been historically absent in many cultures. For example, Kamada 2008A, 2008B and 2010 uses FPDA to show how a friendship group of half-Japanese girls, who are seen by their culture as less than whole, draw upon competing discourses to negotiate more positive versions of their hybrid ethnic and gender identities. Topic. Background The above definition of FPDA developed from the ideas of the formalist, Mikhail Bakhtin 1981, and the post-structuralist thinkers Jacques Derrida 1987, and Michel Foucault 1972, in relation to power, knowledge and discourses. It is also based on the feminist work of Victoria Bergvall 1998, Judith Butler 1990, Bronwyn Davies 1997, Valerie Walkerdine 1990, and especially Chris Whedon 1997. Adopters of FPDA include Judith Baxter in the analysis of classroom talk and business meeting interactions, Laurel Kamada 2008, 2008, 2010 in the analysis of hybrid identities of half-Japanese girls, Harold Castaneda Peña 2008 in the examination of pupils in an EFL classroom in Brazil, Helen Sonson in the analysis of UK secondary school classroom talk, and Paul Baker 2013 in the study of newspaper representations of predatory women. FPDA is based on the following principles, which continue to be discussed and debated by scholars. Discourse as social practice rather than, or additional to, language above the sentence or as language in use Cameron, 2001. The performative rather than the essentialist or possessive nature of speakers' identities, gender as something people enact or do, not something they are or characterize Butler 1990. The diversity and multiplicity of speakers' identities, thus, gender is just one of many cultural variables constructing speakers' identities e.g. regional background, ethnicity, class, age, though it is still viewed as potentially highly significant. The construction of meaning within localized or context-specific settings or communities of practice such as classrooms, board meetings, TV talk shows, an interest in deconstruction, working out how binary power relations e.g. males, females, public, private, objective, subjective constitute identities, subject positions and interactions within discourses and texts, and challenging such binaries. Interdiscursivity, recognizing ways in which one discourse is always inscribed and inflected with traces of other discourses, or how one text is interwoven with another. The need for continuous self-reflexivity, being continuously explicit and questioning about the values and assumptions made by discourse analysis. Topic. See also 
Post-structuralism Discourse Critical discourse analysis Feminism Feminist theory References Further reading Bakhtin, M. 1981, the Dialogic Imagination, Four Essays. Austin, Texas, The University of Texas. Baxter, J. 2007, Post-Structuralist Analysis of Classroom Discourse, in M. Martin Jones and A. M. de Mejia eds, Encyclopedia of Language and Education, Discourse and Education, Vol. 3. New York, Springer, pp. 69-80. Baxter, J. 2010, the Language of Female Leadership. Basingstoke, Palgrave Macmillan. Baxter, J. 2008, FPDA, A New Theoretical and Methodological Approach, in K. Harrington, L. Litticelli T., H. Sonson, and J. Sunderland eds, Gender and Language Research Methodologies. Palgrave, Macmillan, pp. 243-55. Bergvall, V. L. 1998, Constructing and Enacting Gender Through Discourse, Negotiating Multiple Roles as Female Engineering Students, in V. L. Bergvall, J. M. Bing and A. F. Fred eds, Rethinking Language and Gender Research. Harlow, Penguin. Butler, J. 1990, gender Trouble, Feminism and the Subversion of Identity. New York, Routledge. Davies, B. 1997, the Subject of Poststructuralism, A Reply to Allison Jones. Gender and Education, 9, pp. 271-83. Derrida, J. 1987, a Derrida Reader, Between the Blinds. Brighton, Harvester Wheatsheaf. Foucault, M. 1972, The Archaeology of Knowledge and the Discourse on Language. New York, Pantheon. Harry, R. 1995, Agentive Discourse, in R. Harry and P. Stearns, eds, Discursive Psychology in Practice. London, Sage, pp. 120-29. Kamada, L. 2008, Discursive embodied Identities of Half-Girls in Japan, a Multi-Perspectival Approach within Feminist Poststructuralist Discourse Analysis, in K. Harrington, L. Litticelli T., H. Sonson, and J. Sunderland, eds, Gender and Language Research Methodologies. Palgrave, Macmillan, pp. 174-90. Litticelli T., L. and Sunderland, J. 2002, Gender Identity and Discourse Analysis. Amsterdam, John Benjamins. Potter, J. and Riker, S. 1987, Discourses of Community and Conflict, The Organization of Social Categories in Accounts of a Riot, British Journal of Social Psychology, 26-2540. Potter, J. and Edwards, D. 1990, Nigel Lawson's Tent, Discourse Analysis, Attribution Theory and Social Psychology of Fact. European Journal of Psychology, 20, 405-24. Potter, J. and Wetherill, M. 1987, Discourse and Social Psychology, Beyond Attitudes and Behavior. London, Sage. Sunderland, J. 2004, Gendered Discourses. Basingstoli, Palgrave. Walkerdine, V. 1990, Schoolgirl Fictions. London, Verso. Warhol, T. 2005, Feminist Poststructuralist Discourse Analysis and Biblical Authority. Paper delivered at Ball, Cup Seminar, Theoretical and Methodological Approaches to Gender and Language Study, November 18-19, 2005, University of Birmingham, UK. Whedon, C. 1997, Feminist Practice and Poststructuralist Theory, 2nd EDN. Oxford, Blackwell. Wetherill, M. 1998, Positioning and Interpretive Repertoires, Conversation Analysis and Poststructuralism in Dialogue, Discourse and Society, 9 3, 387-412. Wodick, R. 1996, Disorders of Discourse. London, Longman. 